Like most industries, one of Afghanistan's highest revenue garnering industry, the pine nut, has also taken a hit since the Taliban takeover. While the newly formed government has promised to bring prosperity for the people, our correspondent Anas Malik tells us how much Taliban will follow through. Afghanistan's pine nut industry is a lucrative source of income for people living in the eastern region of Afghanistan. The dry fruit is known as Afghanistan's white gold. Afghan pine nut, which is an expensive dry fruit, is popular in China, Pakistan, India and other countries in the region. Collected in the eastern side of the country and then mostly exported after being brought to the capital, women of Afghanistan remain an integral part of the pine nuts industry. Women are an essential part of Afghanistan's pine nut industry. They're the ones who clean and segregate the pine nuts into its refined form, the ones that are sold into the markets. Shopkeepers and exporters at Kabul's Pule Kishti Bazaar are found complaining this year due to fewer business opportunities and exports. They also say that they would have to sell their white gold at a much cheaper rate this year due to lesser business opportunities. I've been a shopkeeper in this market for the past six years. I don't export, but instead my market is the local Kabul market. There is a season for selling pine nuts. In this season, when pine nuts are sold abroad, it gives us a lot of benefits as well locally. This year, we have a lot of pine nuts, but we will have to sell it cheap. For the past 20 years, I have been in the business of pine nuts. Most of my exports used to be in China and India. However, unfortunately this year, pine nuts cannot be exported to foreign countries. Earlier there used to be exports through airplanes, but now the air routes are largely closed. This year some of it will go to Pakistan and then to other countries through the land route, but that would not be in the greater quantity comparatively. The banking systems are closed, the reason we are facing a lot of issues and a reason because of which our business is not thriving. This year we will export about 20% of pine nuts compared to previous years 100%. For the past 10 years, we have been working here. If any country does not have a proper system in place, then business cannot thrive there. Our business is sustaining. It's way lesser compared to past times. This year, if we send the pine nuts abroad, we would be forced to receive the payments in Dubai or any other third country because the banking system in Afghanistan is not functional. This is very troubling for us. The Taliban government, however, says that they not just have a plan in place to capitalize the white gold's export, which gave the country over 54 million US dollars in revenue last year, Nuruddin Azizi, the Minister for Commerce and Industry, says that they have multiple countries that are willing to invest in the sector of pine nuts. Pine nuts are an important factor of our country and since Afghanistan is primarily agricultural, we've been working hard to make sure that these products are capitalized and that they reach their final destination. Pine nuts is a product of Afghanistan and they're extremely crucial. We want others to invest in it so that the necessary marketing can be done. China is not the only one interested in the product. There are others like the United Arab Emirates, European countries, Central Asian countries. They are involved here and they are interested and we are exporting to them. And we would like any interested parties to invest in this. China has been a major importer of pine nuts from Afghanistan. Just last year, the country imported between 1,000 and 3,000 tons of pine nuts from Afghanistan. Last year, the Afghanistan Pine Nuts Union had signed a contract with China to maintain the original status of pine nuts and develop its market globally. The fate of that contract remains unknown. Recently at a meeting in Doha, the Taliban's foreign minister, Amir Khan Mutaki, was seen gifting Afghan pine nuts to his Chinese counterpart, Wang Yi. Afghanistan produces 33,000 tons of pine nuts every year. Last year, the country's exports from pine nuts stood at 52 million US dollars. This year, however, it's different. Shopkeepers here complain of a sharp decline following the Taliban's takeover of the country. Taliban's Minister for Industries and Commerce, Mr. Nuruddin Azizi, says that the group has a plan 
and strategy in place to capitalize pine nut exports. Anas Malik in Kabul, Afghanistan for Vion World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.